Rules for addition. Pretty basic. I like addition. People have much more success with addition than they do subtraction. Anytime you take a positive number and you add positive numbers to that, you're going to get more positive numbers. So that's pretty straightforward. 5 plus 7 equals 12. Positive plus positive equals more positive. The same is true with negatives. Negative plus negative is going to give you more negatives. If I currently have 5 negatives and you give me 7 more negatives, I have a grand total of 12 negatives. So negative plus negative equals more negative. The tricky one is when they are different signs. When they are different, one's positive and one's negative, just take whichever one has like a bigger amount. So if there's seven negatives here and five positives here, five plus negative seven, I realize that any positive is bigger than a negative, but there are more negatives here. So there's seven negatives compared to five positives. So you go ahead and you go seven minus five equals two. And then the sign of whichever one you have more. We had more negatives, so that would become negative two. But if it was negative five plus seven, We'd still go 7 minus 5 is 2, but this time there's more positives than there are negatives, so it becomes positive 2. So whenever I have a positive and a negative being added together, I ask myself, which type do I have more of, and how many more do I have? We have some rules for addition. The commutative property, associative property, identity property, and the inverse property. Each one of these properties allows us to do certain things with the numbers. The example of commutative property would be the order does not matter. You'll notice 5 plus 2 plus 3, and now it's 2 plus 5 plus 3. The order switched, but the value will not change. 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10. 2 plus 5 is 7, 7, 7 plus 3 is 10. They both equal 10. The order doesn't matter. The associative property is not the order, but the grouping of numbers. You'll notice the order of the numbers has not changed. 5, 2, 3. 5, 2, 3. What's changed is what's inside the parentheses. Here, 2 and 3 are inside. Now 5 and 2 are inside. That's different numbers in the parentheses, not the order. These two can get easily confused. If I had 5 plus 2 plus 3 like this, as soon as you see that, someone else, oh, he must be talking about associative. But if I write 2 plus 3 plus 5 over here, do you still think it's associative? Just because it has parentheses does not mean it's associative. In fact, this is an example of commutative. 5, 2, 3... 2, 3, 5. I switched the order. I just took what was in parentheses and switched it with the 5. That's commutative property, not associative property. The order does not change, but the parentheses do for it to be associative. Identity is pretty easy. Anytime you add 0 to something, you stay with the something. So 5 plus 0 is 5. 100 plus 0 is 100. A billion plus 0 is a billion. Dogs plus 0 is dogs. It doesn't matter. You add 0, doesn't change it. And then anytime you take a number and you add it to its opposite, that's the inverse, you're always going to get zero. So negative 100 and positive 100 add together make zero. Those are the four rules we have for addition. Now these are subtraction rules. These are a little harder. They're going to take some practice. I would encourage you to actually do this. Add the opposite. And you might say, you just said that was a subtraction rule. I did. Except I want you to switch the subtraction into addition. But any time you switch it to addition, the directly following number must change signs, which means if it was a positive, you must turn it into a negative. If it was a negative, you must turn it into a positive. So here we had 5 minus 3. I'm going to change that addition or subtraction into addition. But you'll notice instead of it being a positive 3, it's now a negative 3. The sign of the number that follows must change. Here's another example. 6 minus negative 4. All of a sudden, it became a positive and, a, and an addition sign. Switch to addition, switch the sign that follows. I get in the habit of just going plus the opposite, plus the opposite. If you get in that habit, you are far less likely to make some mistakes down the road. You may make some mistakes while you're practicing this concept, but once you get it down, you will find that you're much better at it. And the reason is, on a number line, there's zero. When you add positive numbers, you move to the right. That would mean that if you subtract positive numbers, you have to go left. You can't go the same direction because one's a subtraction and one's addition. Well, with that same accord, what if you were adding a negative? Can adding a negative go the same direction as adding a positive? No. Adding a negative has to go the opposite. So now you're adding a negative. So instead of having subtraction, you're switching it to plus the opposite. And if subtracting a positive takes you this way, 
then subtracting a negative can't go the same direction, so that's subtracting a negative. Anytime you see subtracting a negative, subtracting a negative, it's really plus a positive. Plus a positive. They mean the same thing. So I would concentrate on this and this because they are addition rules which are much easier for us to follow. And lastly, terms. Terms are any of the parts that are being added together. So here we have 4 and we have x being added together. The 4 is a term and the x is a term because those are the chunks being added together. 3x squared plus 2x. 3x squared is being added to 2x, therefore they're the terms. The parts being added. a plus b plus 2c plus 4. Term, 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 and term. Some people think that's a term and that's a term. But 2 is not being added with c. 2c is its own term. So this is a term, this is a term, this is a term, and this is a term. The chunks, the parts being added.